morning guys welcome back to another vlog if you are new here hello my name is Jillian welcome to my channel I am currently in Cape Town South Africa this is where my boyfriend lives so I came to stay with him for a couple months like anywhere between one to three we don't really know yet depends on visas long story but I am here in South Africa for a couple months I quit my job recently back in Rhode Island in the USA and I am now here. Welcome to the first like real week in my life in Cape Town. I haven't done one of these in a really long time but I tried to do them last time I was here but that was the worst timing because then we went into lockdown here in South Africa so we couldn't even leave the house but now I can like finally show you what South Africa is like because the only other time I was here I kind of like just started my channel and I wasn't really vlogging the way I am now so I can actually show you Cape Town so welcome to the Cape Town vlogs guys I'm very excited I have posted two now already but this is the first like week in my life so right now it is Monday it is a little past 11 we are heading out to pick and pay right now which is a grocery store I'm just picking up a couple of random things that we need we do this like every few days because we run through a lot of stuff kind of fast because we use more like fresh produce so we're gonna do that and we're also going to go to, I kind of forget what it's called. I think it's Pike Trail. Pike Trail, not Pike, Pike, I think. It's basically a two and a half hour trail leading from where we're staying in the main city area in town all the way through Camps Bay, which is some beautiful beaches. Though so I am going to head out there with him. Um, I'll show you what I'm wearing real quick. I gotta find my mask actually, but yeah i'm very excited uh, we've been trying to do like a few different things throughout the days we've been trying to do like a couple things a week kind of i don't know i just got here this is my first week but we're trying to do some fun things um keep things exciting so i'm gonna find my mask i can't find it anywhere and we're gonna get going all right found my mask my top is from h&m i got it right before i left my purse is from tj maxx my shorts are H&M. I got them last year and my sandals are from Target. We just made it to Pipe Track. Honestly, it's fucking hot. <laughs> I put on some sunscreen, but we probably should have brought some. It's gorgeous out here. Bar water, in a t-shirt, jean shorts. I think we're gonna take like a flat trail and go basically all around the mountain. So, I can't believe it, it's so hot. <laughs> it's really hot here. The montage starts now. short hike it turned into four hours we got a little lost on the trail but overall it was a great hike we were saying that we liked it not better but we liked it in a different way than hiking the other mountains like lion's head and table mountain because this hike was more scenic than an actual hike but it was still very long irons in the back <laughs> we ended up in camps bay where we were for my birthday if you saw that vlog that was the last vlog we were trying to get to starbucks before they closed and we got there three minutes after they closed so that was a fail so we decided we're going in the morning probably because we want to we finally made it back home we were a little past curfew curfew is at eight we were like 802 but everyone seems to be out right now so i i don't know but we're at nine. Na curfew's at nine yeah. Then why did I think it was 8 this whole time? So, we will talk in the morning, guys. <laughs> Go 
recording. Yes, my love. How do you know? How do you know? How do I look? I will never get over the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Look at this. Or no mascara. Look at that. This is with an eyelash curler. Wow. You can definitely see it never. I'm about to head out right now, or Tyron and I are both heading out. We are going down to the waterfront. I think I went there in my last vlog with you guys. I'm um, in my birthday vlog, the V&A waterfront. We are gonna actually go to Starbucks because last night when we tried to go, it closed three minutes before we got there and now we're craving it. So go get some coffee. Just opened up Starbucks here in Cape Town. Just going for a little stroll this morning. We've been trying to get out and like walk around a little bit in the mornings because neither of us are working right now. So we've just been trying to enjoy the mornings a bit or the days and just get out, get some exercise, get some sun, enjoy the days. So we're gonna head out now and I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> So we are home from going for our walk earlier, getting coffee. We've come home, chilled for a little bit, tidied up in here, and now Tyron is at the gym. It is already 3.40. I was gonna go to gym because I really wanna start getting back into working out, but just taking this hour to kind of do my thing. I might read a little bit, might do some yoga, or I might edit a video. I'm three videos behind at this point, and now I'm filming my fourth, so I need to do some catching up in regards to like that kind of work. It'll be a chill night. I don't think we're going anywhere else because our walk this morning ended up turning into like three hours because we were just walking all over Cape Town. It's a beautiful place, honestly. It's gorgeous here. So we were just exploring all the areas that either Tyron's never seen in the city and that I've definitely never seen in the city and just sitting there at Starbucks, just chatting, like just really just enjoying ourselves. Um, this is a very nice change of pace compared to like working 24 seven. Tyron is gonna make a stew for dinner tonight, so maybe I'll show you guys that. Wednesday so I just changed my top from what you just saw because I wanted something more comfortable just made a coffee as you just saw but my tank top is from TJ Maxx it was like five or six dollars my sweatpants are from nasty gal they're my favorite things ever I got them back in October and then my slippers 100% the best things I've ever ever purchased in my life they are so cute. They're like clouds. I feel like I'm walking on clouds. They're just the best things I've ever, ever worn in my life. So that's my cozy outfit. I'm going to keep going with my morning. So we're on our way out for a walk. <laughs> and we're going to go stop at the grocery store to grab some stuff for dinner. What is growing inside? So that's the scoby. That is what ferments the tea. A little 
past 9 30 p.m now i don't know where the day has gone after our walk we came home we chilled for a while and then we watched the inauguration for the u.s um president joe biden and spent a lot of time doing that and then the rest of the night we just chilled for now we're probably gonna go to bed soon earlier today we went around town and on our walk we stopped at a kombucha bar it's like this little stand on long street if you're familiar with cape town it's the cutest little kombucha bar kombucha was so good i have tried up like i want to say three or four kombucha since being in cape town this week and this one was my favorite so far it's handcrafted here in south africa really cool place nice vibe the lady was so nice that was working very cool i highly recommend it but yeah it was super cute and that was the extent of our day that is that. We're gonna head to bed soon and I will chat with you guys tomorrow. now haven't talked to you all day long or yesterday because yesterday we really did not do much kind of stayed in the house most of the day we went for our daily walk but we just got back from another daily walk we left the house around 9 45 and we just got back we walked to vna waterfront again we were there a lot actually this week but that's just because i wanted to pick up a book i wanted to go to lush and just to peek at a few other things and we also stopped at Pick and Pay on the way home, which is a grocery store, and Clicks as well. It's like South Africa's CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, that kind of thing, just to pick up something for Tyron there. So I wanted to do a little mini grocery haul. This is probably gonna be the smallest grocery haul you'll see from me, but I just wanted to show you a few things that we had to restock on that we got for dinner, for our day to day, stuff like that. There is literally five things here. Um, so 30 large eggs, we got these for about 40 Rand, which is right around $2 and some change. A lime, which was three Rand and some change, which comes to like 20 cents, I would say, right around there, right? Right around 20 cents. Four russet potatoes, which was 13 Rand, that's right around a dollar, a little less than a dollar. Strawberries, these were more expensive. These were like 45 Rand, which is close to prices for strawberries back home in the US. And then we got a whole chicken for 91 Rand, which is around $6. So obviously depending on what you get, some things are cheaper, some things are more expensive, but this is kind of like how much we generally pay for groceries here when you're converting Rands to dollars. And then we grabbed two reusable bags from Clicks because we haven't been using reusable bags because we haven't had any at this apartment, but we grabbed some just so we didn't have to use plastic all the time at the grocery store. We did end up finding a book when we were at the waterfront. I had a few on my list. So I didn't look for all the books I had on my list, but I did put down two authors that I was looking for and I was kind of gonna look at any book. But I got a book from the author Ellen Hildebrand, which I read her book, The Perfect Couple, over the summer and I absolutely loved it. I liked the way that she wrote the book, definitely a bit of mystery, definitely a bit of romance, and I like how she writes from different people's perspectives, so you can kind of see how everyone is looking at all the situations. So this is what happens in paradise. This is what the back says. Old lies and new loves are brought to light in the blazing Caribbean sun. A year ago, Irene Steele had the shock of her life. Her loving husband, father to their grown sons, and successful businessman was killed in a plane crash. But that wasn't Irene's only shattering news. He'd also been leading a double life on the island of St. John, where another woman loved him too. Now Irene and her sons are back on St. John, determined to learn the truth about the mysterious life and death of the man they thought they knew. But they're about to learn some surprising myths about their own lives too, and things will never be the same again. Definitely is going to be some romance in here, definitely some mystery. Anytime there involves like an affair or some kind of scandal like that, that's a book. I will keep you guys updated. You know my goal for 2021 is to read one book a month, so 
maybe we'll end up reading two this month. And then I told you guys I got a bath bomb. This is groovy kind of love bath bomb. We have a bath up here and I'm excited to use it because we won't be washing our clothes in it like we were the last time. I can actually just use it to take a bath. It's like just a giant rainbow ball basically. And it smells really good, so this will be fun. On one of my self-care nights, I'll use this. I also grabbed three postcards from the bookstore that I'm probably going to write out today so I can get them mailed out as soon as possible. South Africa's Big Five on it. And then two of Cape Town. Um, this one is from Clifton, so you might recognize this from where we hiked the other day. And then this one is from is this the waterfront? I think so. Yeah, this might look familiar from my vlogs as well. So I'm going to get these right now and sent out. The rest of the day, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do. I know Tyron's going to go to gym. I'm probably not going to go. I'm going to start on that next week, I think. I think I've decided officially we're getting back on our shit. But for now, we're probably going to relax. I have a lot of editing to do. And that is that. This vlog has turned into just like a bunch of random clips, but this is literally my first week in Cape Town. Today's little activity, we're gonna go to Starbucks to get some work done. We both have a few things we wanna get done. It's a little past 10 right now, but it's like 68 Fahrenheit, which is right around 20 degrees Celsius for all my non-Americans. So everyone else in the world. I'm sure we're gonna go to other local coffee shops. We've been to them plenty of times before, like the other times I've been here that I wasn't vlogging, but just this time around within this first week we've been enjoying walking down there because it's like a good walk from where we're staying and also a really like just like nice vibe to work in because not all places are like that not all the other coffee shops are like a nice vibe to just like sit and chill in so that is why we're going there i promise i will take you to other coffee shops at some point and other local places but for now this is what we're doing started to develop somewhat of a morning routine here it changes everywhere i go every place i'm in what i'm doing um so i will do a morning routine as well the longer i'm here the more comfortable i'll get into my routine time to uh, explore more of cape town <music> After we came home from being out at the waterfront at Starbucks, I came home and finished editing because I'm very behind on editing. So that was what I spent my day doing. I uploaded the video. You've already seen it by now. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that video. And I also hope you guys enjoyed this one. I decided I'm gonna end the vlog here because it is Sunday night. I watched a show. I drank some tea. Hope you guys are ready for more Cape Town vlogs. More fun and exciting videos will be coming your way very soon. So I hope you are ready for that. I'm very excited to show you more of Cape Town and to do more things in Cape Town. COVID friendly things, of course. So. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day whenever you're watching this and I will see you all in my next video.